live in the poker room and I'm Pac-Man James. Today my guest is Mac Malone. Shit, we in the building, CMC Magazine. You know what it is. Yes, sir. Beautiful night. Beautiful night, Mac. Shit, yeah, man. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Where you from? What's the regular day in life of Mac Malone? Man, I'm from a little small town, Church Point, you know. <laughs> 4,000 people. Real, real small town. Uh, you know, everybody from the community, you know, show love and support to whoever got going on in the in the community. It's a small town. Everybody trying to grow and develop, you know. But um regular day for me is, you know, I um I like to reach out to people and show support if I can. Right. Get involved with like different events in the community and stuff like that and try to show my face because I got a lot of youngsters that believe, you know, believe in me what what I got going on. So I'm really trying to take it to the next level. Right, and I don't want to let nobody down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're not gonna let them down. The people yeah. love you. You're a people yeah. person, my yeah. brother. Yeah. Appreciate you're it. Definitely man. a pillar in the community. Appreciate it, man. Definitely a pillar in the community. In the community. Talk about the first song you recorded. Man, the first song I recorded was, I was small actually. I had a little keyboard <laughs> and a little tape player, and it was something I forgot what it was called. But it was me, and my cousin, just playing around. Like I said, I always mess with the music, so um. I forgot, man. It was a little beat I made on the keyboard, and I think I titled, titled it like uh, a young dream or something like that. You know, and I just kept repeating and making hooks and stuff like that. But um, the first legit song that I recorded probably was a song called, uh, man, I made so many. Probably was, um, let me think. Because I recorded myself for a while, so okay. I'm trying to think which one. While you think on that, was the keyboard a Casio? Because that was everybody first. Yep, uh, it was about this one. big. <laughs> man, you had some nice songs on the it Casio. It was this big. <laughs> it was small, but it worked. But yeah, I think the first song I called, recorded was uh, called Young Nigga With Dreams. Yeah. Is, is it still on the, anywhere people can find it? No, it was just it was just something I did on my own. You know what I'm saying? I, did, I wanted to perfect my craft before I just started putting music out. Okay. Because you know how people is. They're hard critics, so... You come out, you know, you can see the growth, but you're going to watch me grow from a good point, you know, to where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Now, I think the audience know that being a musician, is, is it plays on a person's mental. Cause oh, yeah, you, most you definitely. Write your music and be like, man, I hope somebody feel it, man. I hope they yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, most definitely. How yeah. they going to react when I perform? Yeah, because you want them to like it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, when you get in the yo and your process of making the music, you don't worry about it. You just go it. How you yeah, feel? Yeah, I just go. Sometimes... If I'm in my creative space and I'm home and I'm just chilling, I'll put some beats on because I'm going through beats all the time. I'm going through my beats and uh, I'm going through a lot. If one catch my eye, I start, you know, brainstorming. I'll just start, mm -hmm, you know, just start making melodies and shit. Once I get the melody down, then I put the words. And then that's kind of my process. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because the melody got to hit. You got to hit. That catch. You got to catch people. So if, I, if it catch, if I'm like, ooh, yeah, then I could place my words how I want and then come up with what I want to talk about or something I've been through or whatever. So that's, how it, that's pretty much how it go. And if I go to the studio sometimes, um, I'll just do the hook, write a hook, and just do all my verses in the studio. Okay. Just, you know, getting that mode. Yeah, getting just getting, yeah, I like the vibe sometimes. Oh, just punching know. in, no writing? Yeah, just no writing sometimes. I do that a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're a real, true artist. Yeah. <laughs> now, I... I got familiar with your music through Running Man. Oh, yeah, that was After, the one. <laughs> when you shot Running Man, whose idea it was to have the concept like a short, a short film? Man. Because it was I, like a short film when you were shooting. Yeah, shout out to L. Gregory Productions, man. Shout he, out to um, L. Gregor. He came out with the... It's crazy how... We linked up down, and we came out with the, you know, the idea. And he was like, man, we can make a whole story. So I'm like, man, we got to do something that can relate to the people. And, you know, we both familiar with the area. People got to do what they got to do to come up, so... Right. We just wanted to paint that picture, and shit, it worked out good. good. The picture was painted. I mean, it was painted. <laughs> it was painted. <laughs> it, was painted. it was painted. I got to use my own children, you know, for the babies and stuff. They were small, so it was a part of it. So it didn't mean a lot because they got to, you know, it was a part of my big, my first real big video. You can see it like that. So. When they when they get older, they'll better check it out. Yeah, <laughs> be like, boy, you was a baby, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You dropped Chase It with Abu Zulu and Young Blue. Mm -hmm. Did you think the song would have took off as fast as it did? Man, I, I really wasn't sure. I knew the song was good. Young Blue already was, I think he was signed to Boosie at the time. And um, we was like, I didn't really know if, how many people knew about Young Blue. I was already on his music, you know, I was a fan. So we linked up and we did the song. And, and after it dropped, while we recording, he like, man, this, a, this one gonna go. You know what I'm saying? And then once we dropped it and people saw the clip, it just kind of took off. It took off. And when it hit the radio, it really took off. You know, shout out to DJ Chill. 
Shout out DJ Jill. Chill, chill, yeah. He. It's still taking off. It's still doing its thing. It's still doing its thing. Yeah, it's still doing its thing. I might have heard the song maybe like last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I heard it like two nights ago. Where y'all, where y'all at recording this? Um, Alabama. This is Mobile. Mobile, uh, Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, in the Young Blue uh, hometown. Yeah. Yeah, that was a real dope experience. Yeah, yeah. He was with us, yeah. Yeah, I was out there with y'all, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed everything. Yeah, that was I wish cool. we could have documented it all that. Man, I regret this shit every day, man. Me too. I got some footage, of, but like it's real small clips. I got me clips of me and Blue and shit like that, but I wish we could have videoed the whole thing, how we was just chilling and shooting basketball and all that. But well, maybe you can pay, do like a 10-year collage. Yeah, so yeah. Clips I'm working on a yeah. portfolio because I got a lot of shit I want to put together and just present, you know what I'm saying? Right, you have a catalog. Yeah, Unlike other yeah, artists, you yeah. have a catalog, yeah. my brother. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah. Appreciate they can it, go man. back and look like, oh, this is not yeah. a good dude who yeah. just been doing his music yeah. yesterday. Yeah. And they can see the growth, you know what I'm saying? So that's, I want to get better with each one. So that's man, you started like, off fire. I yeah, forgot the name yeah. of that first project Running Man was on. Was mm-hmm. It was on Street Life? It was on, uh, uh, was it was uh, Vibe and Wild and Intoxicated? I think so. I think it was. I think I, it was that one. I was just went try one? to look for that project on YouTube Music. It's on Spinrilla. Okay, that's yeah. what Spinrilla was yeah. popping. It's on Spinrilla. It's on Spinrilla. Yeah. It, it, then uh, I had one before that called Magnificent. That was my first one, Magnificent. But vibing while intoxicated was with the, you know, that was with the. And Street Life was yeah. on it. Street ties. Yeah, street yeah, ties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you hooked me with that. One. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't care how old it, how yeah, old it, yeah. late the video is, yeah. how many years it old. Yeah. Still, please give us a video of the street oh, time. I got to do something, man. Please, that was a, that was a good one, man. That's free main, bro. Free main music. He was supposed to get on the free main. Yeah, free main. Man, you know, please drop a video of that. I got to do something. Cause that one was deep. Timeless too. song, yeah. very deep. So a lot of uh, like NBA players in the off season, they add like something to their game. Like maybe they're struggling with the free throw line or mm-hmm. or from three, and they they improve each and off season. You're talking about that growth from album to album. What are like what are the things you're looking for? Album to album that you want to improve on is it is it a vocal thing is it a lyric thing is it the overall um, production of it like what are the little things that you're looking for to improve on each and every album? To be honest, I don't want to I don't want to get trapped in that bubble. Mm-hmm. A lot of artists getting trapped in a certain bubble just because we're from Louisiana. Like you got to make a certain type of music. Facts, but you ain't got to make a certain type of music. It's not really showing no creativity if you're trying to be like everybody else. Correct. You know, so my goal is just to show the growth, but as a creative artist. I just don't want to just make, you know, well, we from Louisiana, so I'm going to just try to satisfy the listeners here. Because me as an artist, I know with the type of music I make, I had to start from the outside, you know, and, and come in with the, with my style because it wasn't the original, you know, the club, Louisiana thing. Well, nothing wrong with that because I like that. I like to make that shit too. Right. But It's more to you than Yeah, that. I want to just show, you know, I, I, like to, I really like this shit. I got a passion for it, so... I don't want to. I just want to keep growing and show my versatility. You know what I'm saying? All the time, I want to be versatile. You know, and just people going people that's really in the music. They going, you know, you'll be able to see. You oh, know, I see tell. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I see it. Yeah. Now you spoke on them two projects was on Spinnerilla. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. I don't know if you know it. Maybe my my man right here better pull it up for me. Is Spinnerilla still in motion? It's still in motion, bro. Still in motion. They still drop projects on the. A lot of people mixtape still going. Up. That and my mixtape still in motion. Yeah, I know, you think they know, they took a hit because it's not as popular. Probably as it so was. because Apple Music and Spotify just kind of took over. But for the underground scene, yeah, like yeah, like if somebody just want to put out a project that's not even mixed down all the way or just a mixed project that's not mastered, they'll throw it on Spinrilla. Oh, uh, you know, it's no, it's no really restrictions. You could put what you want on Spinrilla. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's still, and them it's dudes from my mixtape was pushing. I met them in like in 2019, David and a few of them. I think John. Yeah. One of them died. After one of them died, yeah. it, yeah. it kind of slowed them down. Yeah. It was it was rolling. Shit. Yeah. It was they cool still people. rolling on Instagram though. Still rolling. That's blog. You know they doing like the blog thing. So. Okay. Yeah. Might have to tap back into them. Mm-hmm. Tap yeah. back into them. Now I've been you with like Batman and Robin. Oh yeah, man. Should shit, we expect shit, some work man. from y'all in the future? I wish, bro. Album, he shout out Album, man. He a talented artist, bro. He very talented. Real talented, you know. Stuff happen in life where you just gotta, you know, we go different paths. You know, it ain't no bad blood, no nothing. But he's still like a brother to me, and uh, I hope he's still doing music. You know what I'm saying? If wherever he may be, I think he in Texas and Dallas or something, but. Yeah, he in Dallas. He had yeah. came down last week and I had seen him. He had went to his but parents' he, uh, house. He talented, bro. He a real talented artist. I got a lot of respect for him. 
Me too. You can't take that from him. You know what I'm no. saying? Yeah. No. No. Now, how is your relationship with Upmost these days? Man, uh, we went our separate paths, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had a good thing. We made a good push and everything. Uh, don't regret anything. You know, we had some moments, some memorable moments. Very yeah, memorable for, moments. For sure, for sure. Very you know, but uh, like I say, people grow where we and grow their separate paths. You know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. And uh, it is what it is. Like I said, I wish them the best of luck with what they're doing in life. But, you know, we doing my own thing. They doing their thing, so and you're doing your it's own a thing well. Thing. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if everybody know, but I know. You got music with Russ. Yeah, you know a lot of people. We got a lot of people who know who Russ is, but mm-hmm. will some of that music be released? Cause we gotta hear it. Oh yeah, <laughs> Russ. You know who's Russ? You know who's Russ Carter. <laughs> Yeah, Russell, man. Russ a big uh, one. Yeah. When you uh, get time, check him out. They got some. <laughs> I got some bangers with Russ. I just feel like it ain't the time right now. You don't think it's the time no. or they not ready for it? No, just not not, not for him. Okay. See, like after stuff gets situated, because I got some, you know, I don't want to jinx myself, but I got some good stuff in the works right now. Okay. If everything goes as planned, when I get to a certain level, then I'll put it out. Okay. Because it's, it's on a bigger scale, you know what I'm saying? Because like I'm feeding for it. Yeah, it's on, some, it's, on some, it's on a bigger scale. Oh, yeah. I know it is. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling for it. Catch the real love for the people who don't know music you dropped after you parted ways with Upmost. Man, I got a lot, man. I got, I got, um, I did my Mandatory series. I did the Mandatory 1, Mandatory 2. I got three out. I got, um, uh, Malone Therapy. Yeah. And, uh, I'm working on another one now, man. Me and Weezy got an a EP coming, too. Man, I gotta that's hit gonna it. Be yeah. yeah, I gotta that's hit it. That's gonna be spelled. Remind me, I'm gonna let you check some, hit some shit. But yeah, that's that's gonna be nice. Oh, that's yeah, I'm nice. waiting on that. That's what's dropping next. Me and Weezy shit dropping next. And then I'm dropping my solo Malone. That project called Malone. I'm about to put out. And that shit, that's gonna be some bangers. Yeah. You dropped Lifestyle 1, and then you dropped Lifestyle 2, mm-hmm. featuring D Weezy. Mm-hmm. Was that the last we gonna see of the Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan of the harmonizing melodic blues? No, because to me y'all y'all coming with harmonizing melodic oh, yeah. blues. Oh yeah, it's y'all own genre. It's just the it's just the beginning, bro. That's like my brother. You know what I'm saying? I met Weez and we just kind of click. You know, um, y'all click well. We click well, and it went. It's like I've been knowing they do it all my life. You know what I'm saying? But it was, it's going. It's forward now. It's all the way forward. Yeah, you was supposed to come tonight, matter of fact. Man, we should have brought stuff going on, but. Uh, yeah, we got like I said, that EP. That's, you're gonna like that. <laughs> you can give us the title like of it. You're gonna like that. The starting five. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the starting, starting five. five. You, you can touch on it, like give us a date. Oh, uh, possibly next month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So everybody possibly be on next tune month. For that. Yeah, stay, stay um, up to that. Yeah, possibly next month because we got a we got a few more tracks to do, and then um. Get them mastered and then we'll be ready to go. Yeah, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, we'll be ready to go. You and Deweezy dropped a smash hit. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. High volume video. Oh, yeah. How was the atmosphere and the, the environment when you was putting the, the making of that video? Man, it was crazy. The only thing I compare it to is like Rob 49 when he dropped, when he did it, this stuff in his hometown, in his city. You know, not as big. You know, I'm not on that level yet, but um, the same caliber. Like the whole city came out, the whole hood came out for that one. It was crazy. Mad support, children, older folks. I mean, yeah, and it was it was good, bro. Shout out, shout out to Marcus too. That's my uh, my video man. Yeah, I know yeah, this. Like my brother. He yeah, like family. Like he, yeah. He touched a lot of your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For he, sure. He paints the picture. He does well. Yeah, that's just it's like my brother. Yeah, he he all he traveling all over the world doing his thing. So. Shout out to him for sure. I think he about to, I think he in Europe right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you're you're a big artist, bro. You mm-hmm. you're working, you're keeping it going. Just try to stay humble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You and know. you've been in a room with some people that yeah, that allow people. That, Other people I've can only blessed. dream about. Yeah, I've been blessed, can only bro. dream about being I'm, in a room with blessed. the people. They had blessed. conversations with people mm-hmm. yeah, that some blessed. artists will never have. Yeah, I've been blessed, bro. So please, you know, I'm giving you your flowers. Appreciate it, bro. You do your thing. <laughs> In the top, you keep keep going to the top because mm-hmm. you never stop. Yeah, 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 ain't no, ain't no stopping. You never stop. Came too far. Now Malone mix, high hater. Mm-hmm. It was a date. Oh man, I just dropped the um the fools in studio. 
performance also it's video. Yeah, the, yeah, the, I watched the it. The in-studio performance video is released on YouTube, but the song, I'm going to drop just the audio. Probably next week, I'm, the audio is supposed to come out. Just the audio. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be on all DSP? Yeah, it's going to be on everything. It'll be on everything. Which yeah. brings us to your, to your latest single, Swerve. Yeah. <laughs> what made you want to jump on that beat? Man, I'm a Boosie fan. Shout out Boosie. I'm a Boosie fan. We, we all came up on Boosie. Right. You know, that was our song. Hit the parking lot by the club, just swerve. <laughs> so that's our song. So, you know, and, I mean, Boosie, a legend where we from. So It's you funny know. you and Boo don't have a track by now. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm on that. I'm working on that. I talk to these people, but uh, that'd be nice. Yeah. It was definitely be nice. That'd be legendary for sure. Very legendary. Mm -hmm. Any upcoming shows? Yeah, man, I got some stuff in Houston going on. Um, that's coming up. I'm gonna be hosting uh the 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 classic uh show Street Flavor TV too. Okay. In Houston, yeah. Congratulations. Doing that. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Greg Heat. Yeah, uh, Greg Street. Yeah, over there. Yeah. Yeah, Houston, that's yeah. big. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing that soon. Taking over the show and hosting it, showing some of my videos and uh. Some shows too. Got some shows coming up in Houston for sure. Yeah. Well, I will be definitely on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. Most definitely on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. uh, your melodic harmonized blues sound, I think, would go like eggs and rice and rice and gravy <laughs> with a nice little five, <laughs> eight track EP with Wo Chi. You and him Ooh, ever thought about yeah. collabing? Yeah, I like Wo Chi, man. Wo Chi was always different. Yeah. He has his like, own to style. To me, he wasn't like the regular, you know. He wasn't like the regular artist from this area. Not he's to not, knock anybody, you know what I'm no, saying? Not trying to knock nobody, but he was more versatile. Very versatile. You know what I'm saying? When you drop real view, that thing look. It took off. Took off. But you know, to me, like, she you know. got his own style. Some yeah, people do. might say he country, but yeah, he, he being do. himself, you don't hear nobody, yeah, you don't hear anybody else with yeah, that type of style. Sure, when you hear you Shout know, out Wuchi for sure, yeah. And that's, that's yeah, what we'll defines a real artist. We'll make some fire shit together. So, Chief, if you're hearing this, tap in yeah, with Mac Malone. Yeah, we'll make some fire shit. And give us some shit. music. Yeah, we'll make some fire shit. And get on the poker room. Yeah, man. I saw my ball in here too, man. Shout out to Kill, man. Gorilla oh, much kill. love, Gorilla. Yeah, got some gorillas in there, man. <laughs> oh, my boy, I like when he said that. They got some gorillas in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. He done so good with the running man. And like I said, it was like a short film. You ever wanted to touch on making some movies or oh, having yeah, acting yeah, roles? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh. Uh, I could see me doing that. I could see me doing that. Because music just the beginning, you know what I'm saying? That can lead to so much other shit. But uh, I like to act for sure in a big movie. Yeah, I can do some shit like that. Yeah, your mind's so creative, and I know Greg, yeah. that's your boy. Yeah, my You'll boy. You'll pitch it to him, and he'll be ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he'll be ready to go. At least a web series. Oh, yeah. Keep he'll him be coming. He'll be ready to go. For just sure. waiting for Pac-Man to write that script. Oh, I'm writing it. Man, whatever you write shit, let me know. Oh, I most <laughs> definitely will let you know. Let me know. You know we, we touching on that. We're we going to be doing some movies, too. At least some oh, short films. Oh, shit. You got to do that, man. You got the you got the platform, for sure. You're breaking it out. Shout out to you, too, bro. I got to shout you out on I your own show. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it, bro. And oh, we trying shit. to get... Like, every, Louisiana is made off of tourism. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And our area is rich in tourists and rich in attractions. Definitely. And we want people to come stop and holler at us, come enjoy, enjoy the good food. See some of the beautiful women. Yeah. Enjoy the good hospitality. Oh, yeah. And come have a good time. So we're going to bring all that back. Yeah, man. You, you know got what? it, bro. You got the platform right now. Oh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, everybody need to come here. Most definitely. Yeah, everybody need to come here. Whoever coming up in the game, y'all got to come see CMC Magazine, man. Please do. And we right here at Acadiana Cash. Acadiana Cash, man. The best. The best scenario. Now, what can we expect next? Like I see, uh, the Malone... The Malone project gonna be big, cause uh, I put a lot into that. You know, I, put, I took my time. You know, a lot of all you get when you when you putting out music, and people be asking, oh, "What you got next? What you got?" You you tend you you get in a little zone where you start just putting shit out, right? But then you gotta be like, let me go back and really create and put it together and put some high quality shit out. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be like a, it's gonna be solid. A solid, solid, solid project. Yeah. What they say is, uh, the uh, it's easier to rewrite than it is to write. Oh yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. So you just get yeah. out, get all like that, that vomit yeah. out, yeah. and then yeah. you go and fix it up, and that's where like the creativity really yeah. comes in. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, just go through shit too. We gotta give a little time for shit to happen in life. Right. So you can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you got going on, you, something might happen to you. You make a hit song off the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just like to let time go by and experience different things and then 
go back and then create after that and open your mind up to a whole another, you know, some whole other shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And High Hate is the first single off it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be on there. How, how did you choose that one to be the first? Man, uh, matter of fact, uh, when I heard, because Young Boy did something off a of, of a similar, of the track, okay. it's the original track, and uh, when I heard the beat, I'm like, man, this, I wish I would have found it first. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, I had to do something. I had to put my own twist to it because it was, it got that sample in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that Lord, that Lord sample in there. That, mm, mm, I hit, mm, yeah, yeah, I hit. So, any specific producers on that project? Uh, for sure, Key and View. Key and View Beats, he back from Church Point. Shout out to him. He's my okay. in-house producer. Okay. Um, Exclusive. It, yeah, exclusive. And my dog. Exclusive yeah, I, 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 you know, I was getting to it. Yeah, <laughs> my, you, my dog. You exclusive cook some yeah, nice shit Yeah, exclusive though. DJ Beats. Um, uh, Beats by Evan. Okay. Um, who else I got on there? Uh, Al Gino. Al Gino on the track, he, he'll produce a lot of stuff for New Cap and uh, Blue and Rallo. Okay. And, uh, that's pretty much it. That's wrong. And TNT, TNX. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. TNT. I like yeah. them. I like them. Yeah. And you recorded it all yourself or you? Oh, no, I went to, uh, see, I got to shout my boy Duke out, man. Hub City. Yeah. That's me. Shout out Duke. That's my dog. He, uh, Duke do excellent work. We got it down, bro. He, once we got everything perfected with the way I record, he already know what I want. He in here, you know, he know I can go in there and I can relate to what he doing because I recorded myself for a while, you know, my own shit. So I go in there and we, we vibe and then we, we make classics in that motherfucker. You and Mr. Fat never whipped up nothing? Going Not shit. Not shit. Not shit. We're going to do something. Most definitely got it. Yeah, We're going to do something. Shout out Mr. Fat. We're going to do something. Much love, Mr. Fat. Yeah, What's it like getting out of the bedroom to the studio? Yeah, because everyone, uh, everyone, their mother's yeah. got like the ability to make music in yeah. their own bedroom nowadays. Yeah. But like up in that production quality, what's yeah. that like as an artist? Man, I think um, the biggest thing is the vibe, man. Like it's a different vibe when you're in your, you know, you're in your bedroom or you're in your living room than when you're in that studio with the with the subwoofers hitting in the, you know, you can hear every little quality in the song, every little sound in the song. It's just different. And the atmosphere with the lights and just being in the boot and. It's the vibe, man. You know, you can it's create also, that. It's, it's also cool being like in a spot that other people yeah. before you have done stuff. You can yeah. almost like feel like magic in the room. Especially when you see like plaques. Like when you go in Hub City, you see Cupid plaques from the Cupid Shuffle. And, you know, he like he recorded that there. And it just make you feel, you know, more of an artist. Right. It just make you feel like, you know, you're an artist. You're in here, you're doing, you're creating. I, I suggest every artist should have their own home studio mm -hmm. to where they can record yeah. their own stuff, yeah. take their time. And when shit hits you, it hits Demos. you. Demos. It hits you. Yeah, it hit you. Work, uh, take out a word or two, you know, just perfect it. Yeah. It's, you don't have to rush it. Perfect the yeah. song, then take it to... Then take it to the studio. See, that's what I yeah. did a lot. I did a lot of songs twice. Yeah, you learned the cadence and shit. everything. Because at home, you ain't got no time. You can just play around and play around until you get tired of hearing the shit. So you can hear, you know, then when you go to the studio, you know exactly how you want it. You just like, boom. You're knocking out song after song. You know what I'm saying? So, it's... Yeah, I agree with you on that. Everybody should at least learn the basics of recording. Yeah. And a good producer will hear what you're doing and then, like, pull out something that you weren't even kind of thinking of yeah. and just, like, add it, add yeah. to it and just really yeah. juice it up. With the drops and all that stuff mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good producer will mm -hmm. do it. What you got planned for Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras hey. uh, right, right, around, right around the corner. I want to do the can crew. I want to get involved with the can crew Mardi Gras, man. I want to do Karen Crew, man. Stay loyal, got the float. I know you, you talk to him? Yeah, I got to holler at him. I got to holler Stay at him. Stay loyal, got the float, Nate. They got like 10 more slots left. I got to holler at him. I'm, yeah, try to get on that. First wanna... guest on the new poker room. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Shout out Stay Loyal. Shout out Stay Loyal, man. I need to get on that. Karen Crew got a good period. One of the best. Point got a good one, too, but they yeah. kind of got some shit going on right well, now. Well, you know how they go. You know, it's always politics yeah. with this and that. But we're going to make the best out of it. Yeah. That's all <laughs> we can do. Shit going stay on. positive. They got some shit going on, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do Karen Crew for sure. My mood too. My mood will be nice. Yeah, my mood always nice. Yeah. My mood my always mood nice. You're not gonna make a trip to New Orleans. My little sister out there, so I know she could be full, <laughs> full fled on the scene. So I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. I think coming from Louisiana, we should all go to the Mecca of Mardi Gras one time. Yeah, Turn it in. You know, they go catch be, Carnival. You know, one year. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, nasty video yeah. like Big Pippin. That's where they shot yeah. Big Pippin with Jay Z and them yeah. at Carnival. That would be epic. Nice. 
Nobody did that from him. No, they'll put it on yeah. another level. That'll be epic, man. Game changer. Yeah. I want to shoot some shit on the water too. Almost definitely. Yeah. What type of water? You want to go in the ocean or the I golf? I want to go in the ocean. Yeah, I want to go like some Jamaica type shit on okay. like a, a, a boat type. Yeah, yeah. shit He's not talking about the Vermilion. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. you know, I was getting something like, like we have a lot of waterways around here, baby. You know, just think of one. Yeah, like some Jamaica. Hang type out on the Tash. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like. Yeah. That's what I always. I always wanted to do that high quality video like in the ocean or something with a five years vibing song. Okay, I could see it on a yeah, yacht or yeah, something. On a yacht or something. Me and the fellas just bossed up on that bitch or something. Smoking cigars and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. Living a good life. Living a good life. Yeah. You got any big announcements on the way? That yeah, you, want, man, you care to uh, share with us? Y'all be on the lookout for some some uh, big features. That's all I'm going to see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We definitely real be big on the features, yeah. Well, you, like I said, you... You got a feature with Russ. And yeah. if anybody know who is Ruff, Russ, mm -hmm. they know Russ is the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Russ kind of was on his, his Kanye tip. Yeah, Kanye. yeah. <laughs> he was <laughs> done his thing. Russ done it yeah. first to me, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that too, that's coming too. That's coming too. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting on it. I yeah, want it back. Com that's coming too. But yeah, uh, big features and uh, big videos and some big news. Some big news will be coming soon, bro. Man, what's the process of sitting down and coming up with the the videography f for those videos? Cause all your videos, yeah, it's uh, nice content. I sit down, me and Demarcus, man. You know, I shoot with Demarcus a lot, and uh, I I go for the cinematic look for a lot of shit. I see. Uh, I like the effects and shit too, but I feel like too too much effects could take away from the, you know, from the video a lot of times. So. I think plain videos. Use yeah, a lot like of yeah, yeah. Your like, video is cinematic. Yeah, like a movie. cinematic shit. Like yeah. I like that Put high quality man, shit. Yeah, you know? just like I don't know. I think that's a part of artistry. Like it show like you, you know, you don't just settle for anything. No, you know what I'm saying? Because you could just get up and shoot a video anywhere. Throw some effects and just make that bitch look like something, you know. But when you gotta really sit down and think about some shit and put it together, and you want it to look a certain way. That take a whole another thinking process. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Man, Rick Ross, get with my boy, because I could definitely see you and him doing some, oh, some man, music together. Eating a few uh, trying to shoot with chicken tenders from Shoot with the buffalo he got in the front yard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah. Now, being around a lot of famous mm -hmm. and so-called bigger artists, because mm -hmm. like I said, you're a bigger artist. Have you ever been in a room with them or pitched the idea or they heard your tracks mm -hmm. and then came back later was like, man, that was my idea or... I said, say it like this. Oh, that mm -hmm. was my song. I heard I heard a lot of, you know, similarities on some shit. Uh, I ain't going to say a lot, but a few. Or you'd be like, you know, well, maybe he could have. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but I'd be like, nah. But, you know, maybe he, he could have. But, nah, he ain't. Oh, they watching. They're yeah. watching. Yeah. They, if yeah. you feel like they could have, yeah. they did it. Yeah. They did they it. could have, yeah. They was more definitely. They did. got something that definitely could have had the chance, you know, the opportunity to do it. You know, but uh, I try not to think. You know, get get into that. But you be like, yeah, he could have. You know, he could have got me with that shit. You know, he might have got me. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make. Some, I'm always create some other shit. So. Right. Yeah. With the project you and D Weezy dropping, you want to catch? You want to share to us the first single? Oh, uh, off of that project because you, you know it's probably, right around the corner. We probably gonna do one. The first one probably gonna be a song called. Um, Mud Brothers. Okay. Yeah. I can just imagine the visual for yeah, that one. Yeah, Mud Brothers. That, that's going to hit home for a lot of people, especially that come from, like, the hood and didn't have much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when, you know, we always had a group of friends. We sleep, spend a night in the house and take their mama like our mom and, you know, I ain't going to play with my dog. You know, we going right. to fuck y'all up. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, but Mud Brothers probably going to be the first one on there. In the location of the visual, you gonna keep it in the uh, hometown or you? Oh yeah, probably do it. Mm, probably both our hometowns. Okay, yeah. Probably do Church Point and, and you know and, and Crowley. Yeah, like that. Do both to get the both sides. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, do it like that. Oh yeah, both sides. Because I'm sure he got brothers he came up with that. You know, I don't really know that. You know that they closely grew up together. That he might want to show. And I got partners. You know that I've been with me since. Shit, head start, then you know that they can come out and show their face in the video. And I want to do it like that so everybody get a chance, you know, to see. It just show a little love back to, you know, 
the niggas we started with. Right. Yeah. And you spoke on Gorilla. I'm surprised you and him don't have any music. Oh, it's coming. This time. It's coming. It's coming. You know, Gorilla had a, he had a little run, a good little run. You know what right. I'm saying? It's coming. I yeah. watched the interview. That was a good interview. Thank you. Yeah, Thank that was you. A good interview. Shout out Gorilla. Yeah, again. Shout out Gorilla. Yeah. We're gonna do something for sure. We're gonna Got make you. a banger. Yeah, we're gonna make a banger. It's my dog. He real. He real. Uh, after having uh, Chase it on the radio, is it easier for you to get a song on the radio now, or it's still a little tedious process? Um, not right now. I got the, I got the sort the resources to do it now. I got a, f- a lot more coming to the radio. I'll okay. Tell you that. Okay. Yeah. I, I love lot, to hear that. Oh yeah, a lot. I love more, to hear a that. lot more coming to the radio. That the radio station support oh, yeah, artists in the area. Yeah, a lot more. Shout out DJ Chill. Much love. First Chill. DJ to put me on the um on the radio. Yep. And uh, R.I.P. Pratt the Cat, man. R.I.P. Pratt, man, that's a legend. Yeah, man. Flex holding it down. What's his name? G.J. Flex. Yeah, yeah, he holding it down. Yeah, R.I.P. Pratt the Cat. Flex holding it down, but Pratt the Cat. Yeah, Pratt was special. Pratt, yeah, he's special, man. He booked my first show out there. He booked me out there, man. Where was that? Good Times Cafe. Yeah, at the um, what's the other spot called, man? The club, the big club. Dang, I forgot which one you're talking the about. The big club. The, the after hour one. Yeah, that's it. It's still open. I don't know. Man, you know I don't know, but he was the he booked me to go over there. He was the first, you know, he had reached out. Yeah. I, man, you know, I got a little age on me. So before they had all their clubs that way, people from Alexandria was coming this way to party. Yeah. It was nothing to see people from Alexandria mm-hmm. out here party. They got another after hour spot in LA. It might be the same. Is that the same one? That's not the one Bobby was at, huh? Might be, but I went I went do a show there too when Fox Fox when Fox had the show there, him and Big Head. Yeah, I went to do the show over there with that with them, and um, that thing motherfucker was packed. Yeah, they show love. Now, I didn't even know it was after our spot. You know, the promoter he ain't see all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there at eleven. I'm like, where everybody at around? You know, two o'clock parking lot. Look, crazy. Yeah. You think we need another after hour spot out here? I don't know, man. It's I don't know. I don't know. I can't call it right I now. Think we need, I think we need one. It might maybe one. We use yeah, a few restrictions. Yeah, yeah, twenty five and up. Yeah. Twenty five and up. Close at uh, four. Not like the Delta was. Yeah. But close at four. The Delta went hard though. Man, the Delta was epic. The Delta was epic. Karma was epic. It went out there, all, but it was epic. Karma mm-hmm. was epic. District gotta, epic. Yeah, we gotta bring, <laughs> we gotta get another epic club around here. Man. Yeah, man. Rooftop doing the thing right Roof, now. Yeah, though. Rooftop was definitely doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Shout out DJ Sausage and uh, all them boys fig. Right, shout out Chaotic. Fig. Shout out Fig and Chaotic. Real boys. That's real niggas, though. hmm Well, I got Mac Malone with me, and That's we live right. in the poker room. Live in the poker room, man. And we out. Shout out CMC Magazine, man. The best. A kid and a cash. Y'all come through, show love. And uh, big shit coming 2023. Y'all be on the lookout. Stay tuned. <laughs>